She didn't know what she had, so she went down to see the old doctor. She tried to drop a load, but the test they all showed, an obstruction had gone up and blocked her. The doctor stood back, he looked at that butt crack, each ass cheek the size of a barrel. He slipped on his gloves. And he pushed and he shoved in the rectum of Ella Fitzgerald. The search began strong with some barbecue tongs. He pulled out two plums and a melon. He then cried, Oh Lord, as he plucked out a gourd. And it looked just like Ian McKellen. Lordy, that gourd, it was smelling. He stumbled and then almost fell in. What he'll find next, there's no telling. That gaping crevasse that was old on his ass was a dark and foreboding prospectus. He found two payphones, old Glenn Miller's trombone, and the skull of a homo erected. Over there on the side, Jimmy Hoffa had died, and he lay there all stinking and rotten. Then George Bush sent in troops to parade through the poop in the search for Osama Bin Laden. They were broke, so he got for a pick and a shovel. He tried to be brave as he looked in that cave, and he said, lads, we might be in trouble. We're going inside of a hole brown and wide with an atmosphere surely not sterile. So strap on your mask and we'll finish the task. In the rectum of Ella Fitzgerald. Mm. Oh. Oh, okay. He reached in that muck. They're going to miss the end. That's the worst. The end's the best part. He reached in that muck. And he pulled out a duck. Seven pheasants, a goose, and a gander. A scale model train, and an ultralight plane, and a rusted but working belt sander. Well, then later, he used Lunar Lander. Will their luck would soon change when they hired a crane? They pulled out that broken bulldozer. The people all cheered. <laughs> for her arse was now cleared. And the only job left was the closer. that was cut when that asshole slammed shut with the whole of the city in peril and they've heard it be said 
16 men were struck dead. By the rectum of Ella Fitzgerald. Thank you for your...